Uh, late developments in the nation's capital. We go to NBC's Nancy Dickerson at the White House. Typical of the grief, the shock, the disbelief here in Washington is that by Justice Arthur Goldberg of the Supreme Court. He had called President Johnson and asked to go over and see him, and he arrived, and there were obvious tears in his eyes, and he said, uh, it was my honor to be named to the court by President Kennedy, said the nation has lost a great leader, and I've lost a very great friend. Mr. Justice Goldberg was going up to see President Johnson to offer him uh, his uh, goodwill and that on the part of his wife, Mrs. Dorothy Goldberg, and to uh, give solace to President Johnson and his wife. Interestingly enough, uh, the man, the Secret Service man, who has been assigned to guard and cover Vice President Johnson ever since he was elected to that position, now President Johnson, his Secret Service man, the personal one assigned to him, was ordered a month ago, effective just yesterday afternoon, Friday afternoon, to take a new spot. The new spot was to work on special investigations for the Secret Service. So I think it's somewhat ironic that the man who has been guarding Mr. Lyndon Johnson ever since he uh, achieved or, or entered the office of the Vice Presidency, now when he is President, has been uh, relieved of his duty, and uh, this was ordained a month before the assassin assassination that took place yesterday. I see standing by here out in front of the White